Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. Let's tell this proud father that his son, instead of looking for solutions, is just chatting up all the ladies in town. Let's do it. I did not know you traveled with Lord Angbor of Lamadon. It is my honor to serve him in any way I can, and I truly hope that you have no tidings of Nithadon that might embarrass me in the presence of my liege. Ben... Bandron is shaking with obvious terror of what you might say, and he exhales with obvious relief when you tell him that Nathanon believes Imloth Meloe will be a good place to stay until the road to Harlon is open. That is my responsible boy. I have often prided myself on the example he sets for others, my Lord Angbor. Why, I think he seeks to model his behavior after your own son, Drambor. That is my Nathanon, alright? Privately, you think to yourself that perhaps both Father and son have more in common than either would admit. What a goofy duo. The wagon driver's son speaks wisdom. Imloth Melwi is known for its healers. And the folk here will know the value of the goods of this wagon. Incoming healing or resistance. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to use them. You should cross into Athelion, and my men will assail Harlan. Enemy forces must have crossed the Anduin and taken the port of Harlon by surprise. They have had time enough to fortify the south gate of Ramas against us. That makes things more difficult to be sure. Only that road can support the movement of my 4,000 men. We simply do not have the time or the resources to ferry that many warriors across the Anduin, and moving them through the forest of Athelion in a wide sweep would be far too slow to take much and take much time. If we take such a course, the war will be ended before my men get there. No, they must retake Harlon, and they will need me to lead them in the effort. You, however, you have another errand. Aragorn wanted you to reach Gandalf or Faramir. You can take a single craft across the Anduin and move more swiftly than 4,000. You must pass into Ithilien and come by that way to Osgiliath. Meanwhile, my men will assail Harlon. My scouts learned that a friend to Gondor operates a secret ferry to the east among the high reeds that border the river. Find her and see if she will bring you across the river into Ithilien, Kippen. I can't believe that I am going to Osgiliath. That is cool. I think there are some instances there. It's been a while since I've had to do an instance. I've had like a few of the epic battles and all that, but not like group content instances. It's been a long while. I'm kind of excited about it, kind of dreading it because... Number one, I love instances. I think they're so much fun. But the problems are they're not as fun when you just bring a group of people that are over leveled and they just storm through it. And then number three is sometimes it's hard to find people to run the instance with you. And that really delays the progress of the playthrough. So we'll see how things go. Honestly, I haven't had any issues getting help recently for doing like war bands and the roving threats and all that. Whenever I needed help, usually somebody's pretty quick to come by. So I definitely appreciate that. I appreciate anybody who helps me in these playthroughs. I don't know if anybody that's actually helped me in game has ever watched the series or seen any of my videos, but if you do, just know I appreciate you. All right, I'm getting there. I guess we're gonna cross over that way. Why can't I just swim? I guess it would be slow, but I could always do that. And these reeds can't see anything. It's a nice little camp here. The woman guardedly considers you as you approach. You are welcome to use my boat and defeat foes in Athelion. You approach from the west? I have seen precious few foemen come from that way. Most enemies of Gondor have come from the east. Why do you seek to cross the river? You tell the woman that you have important tidings of war. And that you have sworn to give them only to Gandalf the Wizard or Faramir of Minas Tirith. I suspect it as much, and I will not ask you to break your vow. I have not seen any wizards in these parts, and the name Gandalf is unknown to me, but Faramir has spent more time of late ranging in the woods of Ithilien than he has in the White City. You are welcome to use my boat and to have this advice. Seek for Faramir and his rangers in Bar Hurin to the east. I ask only this. Defeat any Haradrim you encounter in Ithilien. They are a danger to my friends and my kingdom. Seek for Faramir and his rangers in Athelion. 
Then Dal sent you, did he? Then I will count you as a friend. Now, what have you sought me for, Warden? Seek for Faramir and his rangers in Athelion. It is not chance that brought you to this hidden landing place. I can see it in your eyes. You wish to cross the Anduin into Athelion. The currents are swift in these parts, but you are in luck as I can take you there. My name is Luntil and I ferry provisions to the rangers that protect these lands. I admire their courage and they are grateful for my assistance to their cause. Climb into the boat when you are ready to cross the Anduin. I have one small favor to ask of you when you reach the shores of Athelion. I ask nothing more in payment. Okay. Let me look at the map though. Okay, I just want to make like a mental note of where the boat is on either shore in case I have to take it again. Lutil beckons you to speak with her. You are welcome to use my boat and defeat foes in Athelion. Now that we stand at the base of Emin Arnon, do you see the beauty of these lands? This rugged beauty is my home. My parents lived here for as long as they could, but the threat in the east grew too great and we had to flee to Losternock when I was young. I vowed to do everything I could to save Athelion so that one day my children may live here in peace. Now I ask you, protect these lands. The rangers have a campsite, the western post, just north of here. Tell them I sent you to aid them. Some of the rangers can be stubborn at times, but I know that they are in need of someone like yourself. Luntil insists that the rangers will help provide safe travels through Athelion. Okay. Let me open up the map and, and see what I'm dealing with. Very nice. We got all this area. It's going to funnel me into Osgiliath and then finally into Minas Tirith. Very, very interesting. Wait a second. Am I going the wrong way? No, I have to go up. So I have to kill 10 Haradrim and then find a ranger to speak to. This is all starting to feel very epic for me. It really feels like I'm getting to the point in the story in the game where things are a little bit more real, if you will. Is that thunder sound? Is that like the... Is that Mount Doom in the back or something? Because I know we're getting close to Mordor here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that sound effect has to be lightning near Mordor, which is kind of cool. Or maybe I'm just hearing things, I don't know. No, I'm definitely not hearing things. Yeah, definitely not hearing things. The Haradrim here are pretty scattered. I'm gonna do my best to find them. And while I look for seven more Haradrim, it is time for your officially sponsored Renaissance Gaming commercial break. And in this commercial break, I'm simply gonna remind you to subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. Leave a like on the video. It helps to bring this series to other people so that hopefully it makes their day a little bit better as well. By you subscribing, it keeps me motivated to work hard on my channel. I work very hard on this. I can't tell you how many hours I put into it. And the only thing that I get out of it is the joy of doing it. I don't make much money at all on this. I do have AdSense turned on, but I make like 40 bucks a month on it, which is nothing. In fact, I spend more money on the software needed to edit and produce the videos each month because it's like a monthly subscription thing then I actually bring in from the AdSense so it actually costs me money to run the channel so by you subscribing that's all that I ask for it means a lot to me and now back to the game there you go I am looking for five more Haradrim to defeat I used to have a no shill policy on my channel, meaning I wouldn't ask people to subscribe and like the video and all that because I figured, you know, people are smart enough to do that on their own, but I'm focused on channel growth this year and apparently just asking people to do that makes a big difference. So there you go. I'm asking people. 
trying to hit 5,000 subscribers this year. I'm on track to do that, but it's going to be tight. It's going to be close. Can't do it without your help, obviously. All right, I need two more, two more. Let me keep going east. Because I need to go that way regardless. Let me kind of go through the woods a little bit more though. Because I don't think the Harajim are going to be on the open road. I'm excited about the epic battles in Pelennor and Minas Tirith. I think those are going to be a lot of fun. I've enjoyed the epic battles. I know a lot of people complain about them, but I've had a lot of fun with all the epic battles that I've done. Okay, that's all 10 of them. So now I'm just going to try to get to town here. Man, look at the red skies over Mordor to the east. This is so epic. I'm loving it, man. It's actually putting me in the mood to watch Lord of the Rings. I haven't watched those movies in such a long time. I used to be such a dork with watching those movies. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in the playthrough. It can be a little bit embarrassing, but I watched Return of the King in theaters when it came out. A whopping... A whopping 13 times. 13 times I went to the movie theaters to see that movie. I can't tell you how many times I've seen Lord of the Rings. I can play the movies in my head, my friends. I've got like the whole trilogy memorized in my head. It's, it's pretty absurd. But I haven't watched them in a few years, actually. I used to watch it at least once a year, but it's been a while. I need to, I need to do that. A Gondorian man calls your name and beckons to you. I guess over here. It's a pretty cool place. I like the, the vines. Very nice. My brother and I are from the Black Root Vale, and we seek adventure. I knew it was you the moment you came to this place. The Rangers of Ithilien have been watching your progress through the woods, speaking of your deeds, and my brother and I have been looking forward to meeting you. I am Duelin, and this is my brother Derefin. We are no Rangers, we are from the Black Root Vale, far to the west of here. And we marched to Minas Tirith with our father when the beacons were lit. And then nothing. Sitting in idleness with excitement. Uh, while excitement happens, happens elsewhere. Has ever been to either of our tastes. So we escaped from the White City and crossed the river in secret. Now we seek adventure. We will be the first to fell one of the mighty Mumakil. Really? I'm going to hunt a Mumakil? That's exciting. The people of the Black Root Vale know of our grand adventures throughout the wild, and certainly speak of the ferocious creatures we have hunted. They will be as nothing compared to the prey we now seek, the mighty Mumakil. The rangers have seen these great beasts in the service of the Haradrim of the south, but so far none have felled even a single Mumak. My brother and I will be the first to do so, and we would be honored if you accompany us on this hunt. You tell Duelin that you are looking for Faramir and cannot delay that errand. He is not here, but if you help us hunt a mighty Mumakil, then you have my word that the Sons of the Blackroot will help you find him. Speak to me when you're ready to defart, depart, Kippen. Did I say defart? What does defart even mean? Is that like shoving a fart back in because you're defarting? I don't know what's going on right now. Alright, so it's a solo quest, okay. In fact, I think I have killed a Mumakil before in, in that one instance, that one raid, Ostunoth. You guys remember that way back in the day? I can hardly contain my excitement. It is time to hunt the mighty Mumakil the Horajim have brought to Gondor. My brother and I have sworn a solemn vow to bring down the mighty Mumakil that have come to Gondor. We should not tramp through the wild together, Kippen. The two of us would be silent enough, I expect, but my brother makes more noise in the brush than even the largest Mumak. This sword of mine has proven the better of every creature upon which I set its mark. And today will be no different. If you choose to hunt with me, we will travel up the slope 
to the north for a better view, the better to surprise our prey. Or I could go with him. My brother and I rarely hunt together, Kippen. We find that we have much more success when tracking a foe if we travel alone. That way, if one of us frightens the beast, the other may be able to take advantage of the confusion of our prey. My chosen weapon is the longbow, and my accuracy with it is legendary among the folks of the Blackroot Vale. If you come with me, I suggest that we travel eastward by the way of the road, and the long sight, sight lines will give us an advantage over the raiding parties we encounter while searching for the Muma kill. I think I'll take the archer, since I'm going to be fighting melee. Oh, I guess I have to talk to both of them. Choose to accompany one of the brothers. Okay, and if you're in a fellowship, every character must choose the same brother. Alright, so I'm going to go with the longbow here. I will be pleased to have you join me, Kippen. Let us waste no more time. I want to be the first to find the Mumak, and if we are to bring it down before my brother finds one, we will need to hurry. Let me just see what he would say. I am ready to take the wild search of the Mumakil. Waste no time, and we might find one of the great beasts before my brother. There will be glory enough for all, but it brings me no shame to confess that I want to be the first. Okay, let's go. Very well. May the best of us win. Well chosen, Kippen. This way. Derefin was wise to leave the road the two of us to the two of us. Haradrim approaches. These Haradrim may have been an advanced guard for a Mumak. Yeah, I like having the archer instead, so that way I'm, you know, fighting these guys here. There are a lot of these guys here. Just gonna keep running and destroying all of them. These are Roger Mulru the day they came to Gondor. Come on, I wanna fight a Muma kill. Let us move off the road and see if we can overhear their talk, Kippen. How long must we fight alongside orcs? I do not trust their kind. I heard they are led by race, dead kings, untaken by death. The rewards will be great. You must have patience. How long must we wait? These Nazgul have the stink of death on them. And as for Gothmog, enough of this talking. Let us quiet their ramblings, Kippen. Foes! Messed up my gambits here. Okay, I wonder if I can replay this instance and take the other path. Maybe through the reflecting pool. I'll check on that. I might edit the other path into this episode if I can. You have not found a Mumak yet, Duelin? What about you, Kippen? I encountered a number of orcs ranging through the forested hills of this land, but I caught no sign of any Mumakil. How can such a large beast evade us? And yet I feel the earth tremble. Do you feel that? Can it be? Something approaches. Do you feel the earth shake? There it is. The Mumak. My god. Swords at the ready. There's two of them. There's more than one. Alright. Let me go fight this guy. Oh, jeez. I am uh, messing up all my gambits, of course.
I don't know what happened, but okay. I should have been doing my bleeding gambits on the Mooma Kill, actually, now that I think about it, but, you know, kind of late for that. Alright, let me open up these stables. I don't really know what happened there. Gondor needs your aid. Oh, they told me to run. Dueling, kip, and run. Yeah, I guess it was foolish to think that we could take on a giant freaking elephant of doom. Alright, let me talk to these guys, finish up the quest. Next time, we will have one for sure. What a delight. Did you see the size of those Mumakil? They were even larger than I expected and twice as ferocious. I'm still winded from their pursuit and I could not be happier about it. Duelin's eyes are bright and words tumble from him in an excitement in an excited torrent. Next time we will have one for sure. Their hides are thick, but seeing them up close has shown me where to aim. Their eyes. That is the only unprotected spot. I see that now. Oh, what a prize this will be, and certainly it will be pleasant to deprive the Haradrim of such a mighty beast of war. But think of the tales they will sing of my brother and me, and you too, Kippen. But for now, we are to help you with an errand of your own, I suppose. So I definitely want the agility one. I don't know if I'll ever use this, but I might. My brother and I will go with you to Asgiliath to seek Faramir. The men here think Faramir can be found to the north, somewhere in the city of Asgiliath astride the Enduin. The Sturt of Gondor charged his son and with the defense of Asgiliath, but none here know if he has repelled the enemy. Some speak of a hidden encampment within the culverts beneath the city. If Faramir or his men still defend the city, that is where they will be. My brother and I will go with you to Asgiliath. There are certain to be more than enough orcs for the both of us to hone our skills in battle. Okay, very good. So, I'm going to do some quick editing. I'm going to see if I can do the other path in that instance through a reflecting pool real quick. So, indeed I can. So, now let me take this path. If that is your choice, I will hunt alone. You will not regret this, Kippen. We shall be the victors. Listen, something approaches. So we're going to be finding some orcs. Orcs rarely travel alone. There will be more nearby. Sure enough. It's gonna blast these guys. No chance. Absolutely no chance. I don't know if you guys get annoyed by me doing the same quest again by taking different paths, but it is a 100% playthrough. I try my best to show everything. Look, more orcs. Let's listen to their conversation. You won't find me speaking against Gothmog. I know the value of my own skin. Why do we take orders from a man? He is no longer a man, if he ever was. He'd strike you dead as soon as you look as soon as look at you. Keep asking about Gothmog and we'd welcome it, you stupid worm. I have heard enough of their foul speech. Kippen, attack. Yeah, I mean, I can't, like, do everything, everything. Like, I can't do the class-specific quests and all that kind of stuff. But if I can show multiple paths for something, I will do so. It's really not that big of a difference, I guess. And this is where we converge and fight the Muma kill. Derefin, Kippen, you have not found the Mumak yet? I have slain a number of Haradrim warriors on the road through this land already, but I have not seen a single Mumok at which they let fly my arrows. But there is a trembling in the earth. Do you feel it? Is it possible our prey approaches? Do you feel that? Something approaches. The time has come. I will draw my bow and... There's more than one. 
Erfin, Kippen, run! Wow, he does a lot of damage. So I completed the instance again. There you go. We're done with that. Okay. So let's actually move on. So the roving threat guy is here as well. Let me go ahead and set a milestone here. Uh... Yeah, I don't need this 21st hall binding because I have, like, a swift travel over there already, so I can get rid of that. Okay. So let me go down here. Yeah, so I'm finally gonna get this quest turned in. About the roving threats. And again, I'll do all the roving threats in their own episode at the end of the season. But I do want to just do this. Ithilien is crawling with foes. Hail adventurer, I am Nenoth, one of the rangers of Ithilien. I have been tasked with tracking some of the most difficult foes in Eastern Gondor. Are you familiar with the Morgul host? It is a powerful army led by the Witch King. Our numbers on the eastern side of the Anduin are few and we cannot afford to lose any rangers to those powerful beasts. Do you have some kinsmen that you could call upon in their arms to our cause? Okay. So yeah, he's got all the roving threats here, but I'm again, I'm going to do that at the end of the season. So... That's it for now, so I need to speak with a ranger near a campsite. I'm trying to see on the quest ring where that is. I am not seeing it anywhere on the map. Yeah, I don't know. How far is it? It is 1500 meters, oh my god. The western post can be found atop the western cliffs in southern Ithilien. That is really far away, man. Find Faramir and his men within the Osgiliath culverts. So that might be really far as well. Oh, that's, that's all the way up there. So that's for the epic. But I'm trying to figure out where this is. Because I don't see it on the map anywhere. Let's ride over there together though and see what we can find. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Yeah, I don't see anything. thousand meters that is a long way that's kind of like all the way back in the beginning of where I landed on the boat so I'll do a little fast forwarding here why not There doesn't seem to be anyone at the campsite. You find nothing of interest. You find nothing of interest. And you find nothing of interest. So I will continue exploring further up the road, but I will do so in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, see you next time. Thanks for stopping by the Renaissance Gaming Monastery. I hope you join our community on Discord and Twitter. These videos are produced with a lot of hard work and love. If you think they're worth a dollar, I'd be grateful for your contribution. You can send a thanks donation or become a member on YouTube. You can also support through PayPal, Patreon, or even with cryptocurrency. All links are in the description. See you on the next video.